Hello everyone, this is Chitter Caden from Caden Gaming, bringing another MechWare Online Commentary. Now today I'll be playing the Triple Ultra AC5 Jaeger. I know I haven't played this mech in a long time, and I'm probably really, really rusty with it, but when I realized PGI was patching MechWare, and I looked at the patch notes and realized that the Triple Ultra AC5 was getting buffed, I just decided I've got to play this mech. Since I actually had it on my alternate account, this is actually the main mech I play when using my alt. For those of you who don't know, my ult is Urban Spider. You can probably see it in the top left. The Jagger Mech 6S or JM 6S, whatever. Yeah, this is my alternate account, and I use it because I don't have very many mech bays on my main. I have tons of C builds on my main, but unfortunately, not many mech bays. One of these days, I might buy MC. Link already actually bought some MC, but I don't know. With Star Citizen coming out, I probably will not buy MC, not anytime soon. So yeah, that said, um, Star Citizen, for those of you who know what that is, it's a space sim game which I've been looking into. I've been tempted to play a little bit on my channel when it comes out. I don't know if you guys will want to watch that, but it, it seems like it'll be interesting. But yeah, Star Citizen is releasing its ham hangar module, um, I believe tomorrow actually. So I'm really, really looking forward to that. I think I'll probably make a video on that if I, if I can get away with it and find time. Unfortunately. I have been having college work, and for those of you who don't know, it's very hard to find time to record videos where when A, you have college work, and B, you just don't have a really quiet house. I mean, unfortunately, there's there tends to be a lot of background noise when I want to cast, and usually that causes slight problems whenever I want to cast. But as you've probably noticed, um, I, my AC5 Ultras are not jamming all that much, even though I'm firing them really, really quickly. And I've managed to burn through that guy pretty fast, although my friend did help a little bit with that, so I can't take full credit, but still. Um, now with the recent change, instead of your um, AC5 Ultras jamming every fourth shot, statistically, now they will jam every sixth or seventh shot. Now, of course, since it's a random number generated which decides this, Statistics aren't always true, but in general, they shouldn't jam that frequently. And because of that, you can get a pretty crazy alpha before they jam. And remember, whenever it's jammed, it only takes five seconds to unjam. So that can be pretty, pretty useful. I mean, I wouldn't call this mech the greatest mech in the game. I might not even really call it a very good mech. But it's fun, frankly. I have a lot of fun playing it. And it's kind of decent, you know? Not amazing, but decent. Now, unfortunately, this guy might actually just kill me while my weapons are all stuck jammed. No, I'm, it looks like I unjammed it, and I'll be burning through him pretty fast. Yeah, he's shutting down. Ooh, someone's shooting me from behind, it looks like. Let's see. Oh, this looks like a slight problem. In spite of the fact that I'm getting shelled by three mechs, that you can see just how fast this thing burns through enemy armor. I mean, I've almost killed this quick draw already. I might just kill him before I go down. Nope, they took out my weapons. That's too bad. But yeah, this mech can really burn through the enemy fast. Unfortunately, it also burns through your ammo really fast. As you can see, I'm already down to 17 shots, even though, you know, I wasn't fighting for too long. I got cornered by a bunch of guys. Already 546 damage. The only problem is, while it's really, really good for bursts like that, you know, you can just dominate. The problem is, ha even had I survived, I wouldn't have had any ammo left, so I suddenly drop out of the battle after only 500 to 600 or 700 damage. Um, granted, I did miss some of my shots, but I believe the maximum damage I could do, even if I hit everything with this mech, is uh, let me think, I have five tons of ammo, each one's um, 700 and, uh, doing, doing math while casting is not a good idea. Okay, let's see. 125 times 5. That would be 725. Yeah, I had this calculated before and I just forgot. <laughs> the ironic thing is I'm actually not too bad at math. I just cannot calculate while talking. It seems like no caster can. I don't know. Maybe some of them are good at it, but I cannot do it. But yeah, since I can only do 725 damage total, even if I hit every shot, you know, whenever I want to do those thousand damage games, there's just no way I can do it. So that's kind of the downside of this mech. That's part
part of the reason why I want to get an XL engine on this thing. If I got an XL engine, I think a 300 XL is probably what I do. Um, then I could uh, then I could fit more ammo on, and this thing will burn through the ammo. But I don't really know why PGI buffed this. The series was actually started because a that of that um, buff, and b because one of my subscribers commented that you know uh, I can't remember the exact comment, but I was actually talking to him the other day. And if you're watching this, you know who you are. You were the you're the whole reason I'm actually making this series. So <laughs> props to be you, I guess. Unless you well hate watching me play this mech, then I'm I'm sorry for playing a mech you don't like. But yeah. But anyway, uh, he was saying, you know, that Ultra AC5s do need a buff, and I agree they might underperform a little bit compared to the AC20 or Gauss rifle, but they're, um, not the Gauss rifle, the uh, AC20 or the PPC, and also the Gauss rifle, I guess, but they're really not all that bad. It's just you have to know how to play with them. I mean, my Jaeger mech's a pretty big glass cannon. Had I been getting pounded by those mechs effectively, I mean, yeah, I did tank, like, uh... I don't know how many mechs that was. I think it was three mechs which were shooting me. Had they had effective weapons and good aiming, you probably noticed if you're keen-eyed that a good deal of them missed me or just weren't all shooting me at once because they were all clustered to try to get the kill. That's one thing you should never try to do. Don't kill steal. I mean, I don't even say this to you know try to keep people from kill stealing. I mean, it's, it's bad manners and all, but the main reason you shouldn't kill steal is it's just stupid. Let your friends do the tanking. Your KDR will actually be better if you just let your friends take the damage. Don't try to cluster in front to try to take somebody out. There's just no point to it. You're going to be better if your friends die for you. That's what your friends are here for. They're just here to die for you. But, yeah, I mean, likely as not, I'm just going to be perfectly frank, your teammates are going to be newbie un unless you're high ELO'd. And even if you're high ELO'd, I mean, I'm pretty high ELO'd on my main, and I tend to get a lot of bad teammates. Although more likely I tend to get bad enemies than bad teammates, which might mean my ELO is not as high as I think it is. Although since I'm statistically winning a lot, I don't know. I really don't know. But hey, it looks like there's actually just this spider versus one enemy mech. Huh, I wonder who's going to win. But yeah, to resummarize, since I love repeating myself, um, my, in my opinion, I would not suggest you pick up this build if you watch my, um, my videos to learn how to play. Definitely pick up something like my PPC Stalker or my AC20 Jaeger. It's much more simple to play. But if you've just fallen in love with this build and think, oh, hey, this is a really neat build, this dominates, then I guess you could pick it up. But it does take a decent amount of skill to play. I mean, it might not look it, but it does take a decent amount of skill to play. If you miss a lot of your shots, do not play this one because you're going to run out of ammo so fast, and there's no way you're going to be able to get a high damage game. If you tend to like to run out, don't do it because your mech will die very fast. You usually have to take off a lot of your armor to properly fit on a lot of um, a lot of ammo for this build, or you have to take off some uh, not armor, but you have to take off some not take off anything. But you have to put on an XL engine, and yeah, that usually makes you die a little faster. So since it makes you die a little faster, you if you tend to like to just run in, do not pick up this mech. Now, it seems like our Jenner actually managed to best that Raven. I mean, the, his build was way, way better than the Raven's build, and that was, I think, a trial Raven. I don't know if the Raven's actually on trial right now, but it's a pretty newbie mech, in my opinion. But yeah, as a whole, um, I'd say I will probably play a few more games with this mech. I don't really know. Because college has made it hard for me to sort of keep up with my channel, what I might do is, on the days I can play and cast, I'll just play and cast a bunch of games, and then I will, you know, just sort of upload those over the rest of the week, and then, yeah, we'll see how it goes. I'll try to be uploading stuff every day, but it's really, really hard to. Hey, it looks like this guy got just one more damage than me. <laughs>